What is going on guys and welcome to episode 8 of a Trading to 100k. Uh, we did pick up some of the players from uh, last episode. If you haven't seen last episode, it's how I trade, just my little tips, how I do it. Uh, there will be a link in the description below to the whole of this series playlist. Please go back if you've missed an episode, go and check one out. And back to the one of how I trade. That was the last episode. But yeah guys, we're going to go to this episode here and we have picked up a few players. Some of the players we did bid on, we did pick up. Not all of them was not. I think we got like four or five out of them, but that was it. But we did some from a few different leagues in this one. We picked up a Van der Vaart for 1,000 coins, an 85 rated player going for a thousand coins is amazing. And then we picked up another one for 950. Picked up Julius Cesar for 122 for 250. Another one for 250. Uh, I think they're all here. Yep, they're all 250. Combine the 442 for 950. Picked up another one for 900. Another one for 1,000. Another one. For 850, 950, 850, and 900. Then we pick up a few McRiches here. 4k, like um, that was in the last episode, we bid it on them. Uh, 3800, we got them for 38, 4k, and one in the 41212 for 6500. Then we picked up a Boateng for 1500, another one for 1500, another one for 1600. Then we picked up a small in here for 1 1. Uh, picked two of these, didn't we, on a buy now in the last episode. 1,200 and 1,200. Then we picked up this El Gadzi for Wigan. He's a silver player. I was just going through the silver market, having a look. Ganging around, seeing what I could find. I found this one on a buy now for 9,300 in the 433. And I thought, alright, okay, I'll buy it. And he actually does go for about 12 to 13k. So, it's a nice little profit on him. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go and list all of these players up. And then I'll get back to you once they have all sold. So, I'll see you in a sec, guys. Cheers. And we are back guys, and as you can see, everything has sold. The coins are on 80,334 coins. Uh, there's only one set of trades in this, because I thought, oh, we're nearly there, we're only 20k away. So I thought, two more episodes, we can probably get this done. But yeah, Van der Vaart, he actually sold for 1,500, and so did the other one. So that's not a lot of profit, it's only about 300 coins on them. It says I sold for 3k, another one 3k. Uh, this one was actually a 4 on 2 on 2, 3k, and another one. So for 2,800. Goodbye sold for 1,500. Another one for 1,400. Another one for 1.2. Another one for 1.2. Another one for 1.6. Another one for 1.1. 1, 1, and another one for 1,300. So it's a nice little profit on them because we're actually picking them up for about 8.50 to 9.50. Mickle Riches in the 433 sold for 4,500. Another Mickle Riches for 4,500. Another one for 4.6. And another one. In the 4122 for 7,000 coins. Bird Tank he sold for 2k. Another one for 2k and another one for 2,200. Smallin sold for 1,700 and the other one for 1.8. Uh, Smallin again he sold for 1,700 and this silver that we actually did pick up in a 433 at the time. We picked him up for like 9,500 and he only actually sold for 9k so we did make a loss on him which was very disappointing. Uh, but I'm not really that great with the silver market. I haven't really tried trading with them. May try and trade with them in like a different series or something, but in this one I'm not going to bother because I'm better with gold. But you're probably wondering why like the formations changed. Most of these I actually do pick up. Like the Boates here were all in the four one two on two, uh, but when people like discard them or sell them on again, their formation does change and things like that. Um, actually, didn't do the commentary to this for a couple of days after they did sell. Just didn't get around to it because it was Christmas and things like that. But yeah, everything did sell and we are. On 80,000 coins, only 20,000 away. The trading is actually up to 93,618, which is always good and nice to see. But yeah, guys, this is going to come to the end of this episode. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like on this video. It really does mean a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And it really does help my channel out and help me out and motivates me and things like that. And as well, guys, if you aren't already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Hit over 1.7k over Christmas, which is absolutely amazing, guys. Can't thank you guys enough. I think we actually did hit it on Boxing Day. So that is absolutely amazing. Can't thank you, any of you enough. Everybody that's subscribed and things like that means so much. So if you aren't already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Let's try and get to 2k day by February or March of 2013. That would be amazing. But yeah, guys, I um, hope you have enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Favourite as well, guys, if you want to favourite. So thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you all soon. Cheers.